Welcome to the Windows and Computer channel and this is uh, for a question that a viewer asked if I could do a video explaining what is a man in the middle attack. So this is something that's frequent, something that happens every day on the internet and of course there are ways to mitigate this to make sure that it doesn't happen or lower the risk of this happening but it's something that you don't want to have in general and depending on what you do how sensitive the information is on the internet and of course depending on sometimes what country you live in and so on uh, you might want to take precautions so what is a man in the middle attack first of all a normal connection on your computer with another computer on the internet is the green line that you see here so you see a table with people a green line with a check mark and you see a server at the other end. This is how it works. You know, when we talk about cloud, in reality, we're talking about stuff that is on other computers, which are servers on the internet. So typically, a good connection that's not spied on and secure is the green line that you see here. Direct connection from one point to the other. But there could be a man in the middle attack depending on how you use the internet and what happens is a man in the middle attack will divert the traffic to some other server in general where it will be then continued to its intent place so if you're getting information from a server to your connection well with the man in the middle attack it goes from the server goes into most of the time another server and then goes to your computer that other server in the middle here is one that spies on the traffic but even if there's a man in the middle doesn't mean that it can spy on what you do that's the trick so we talk about HTTPS and web browsers um, because it's a secure way of getting information from one, what's one website to your computer. HTTPS is encrypted. That's why it's the favored method, the, b the best way to get to a web page because the encryption between point A and point B, that's the server in you, prevents anybody from snooping in what is in there. So even if there is a guy in the middle, even if there's a server spying, if you're secure with encrypted traffic, they're unable to spy on that information. So that's why we usually use HTTPS. Uh, that's why you know a lot of websites and a lot of browsers have stopped using FTP because nobody uses the secure form of FTP and that means they can spy on the connection and whatever is happening there. A uh, man-in-the-middle attack can happen on a router in a public place. That's why I always say if you use your connection, you know, if you use your phone, tablet um, in public, on public Wi-Fi, the best public Wi-Fi you can have is the one that asks you for a password because that auto automatically encrypts the data where when you don't have a password to connect, it is out in the open. A man in the middle attack could happen and check out what you're doing. One of the great ways to protect yourself from a man in the middle attack is, of course, a good VPN, virtual private network, encrypted tunnel from your computer to the internet to the server and around the world. Now, this is why choosing a VPN, for example, is important. Because if you choose a free VPN that somebody set up, you know, anybody could set up a VPN to do a man in the middle attack, for example, and say, oh, choose my VPN to stay safe. And you connect to a man in the middle attack, but because they are the VPN, they can check out and see what you're doing. That's why we always say, make sure you choose a good VPN provider. Make sure you choose somebody that is trusted, because there's a lot of things that can happen with that. Now, the question you might ask yourself is, so what if they spy on what I do? Well, in most cases, and for a lot of people, probably that doesn't matter because what they do every day is not important enough to be of a problem if it's you know intercepted. 
But because of the nature of, you know, being spied on, so, you know, spying has different ways of getting information. It could be just getting the information of login to your websites, uh, your bank, and so on. It could be trying to find sensitive information, personal information. So you don't want to have, in general, a man-in-the-middle attack or nothing in between you and the server that you connect to to make sure that everything is all right. So being safe means, you know, being up to date with every way of going on the, on the web, uh, making sure that websites, especially the ones that ask for personal information, are HTTPS, so they're secure, uh, and so on. But uh, man in the middle is simply a way of saying that there's a diversion of the connection. Your connection's going somewhere else before going to the intended audience. And there, of course, it can be logged and they can check out what actually you're doing. Of course, everything that's encrypted can go through a man in the middle attack without being affected because, you know, once again, when it's encrypted, even if there is a man in the middle attack, they'll not see what you do. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.